Americans are looking for solutions. They're not looking for this uh, back and forth. They're looking for people who actually have executive experience. Um, I know how to secure the border. But, uh, Governor, some people are, are apparently are looking for someone that just will not put his finger up and, and feel which way the wind is blowing every time they, I'm not saying that you do this, but the notion is that this is, for the first time in 50 years, a politician is saying things without worrying about, immediately worrying about repercussions, immediately worrying about how it's going to be taken, that this guy is so plain spoken that it's tapping into some something that... They well, there's do. one thing about being plain spoken. There's one thing about being smart about solutions. And, and that's, listen, I'm a governor. I don't live in a reality TV world. I have to deal with reality. So when the border was overwhelmed back last summer, uh, and the federal government clearly said, you know, they're not going to respond in an appropriate way. And I told the president, I looked him in the eye and I said, Mr. President, if you don't secure the border, Texas will. And that's exactly what we did. And with our Texas Ranger recon teams, our parks and wildlife uh, individuals we had literally in the river and our National Guard, we saw a 74 percent decrease in apprehensions. I know how to secure the border. Personnel, Strategic fencing, aviation assets flying from Tijuana to Brownsville, 1,933 miles. The, the field will be taking to, taken to the lowest common denominator. I mean, Huckabee, to me, that looked like, what can I say? I'm going to think about it, and then I'm not going to apologize for it, but I'm going to make it really controversial and incendiary. So he brought up the Holocaust, and, and, and that was totally so that he'd be on Fox yeah. News, so that he would be suddenly well, take some of the air away from Donald Trump. And everybody's going to have to do that to try and get some traction. Well, I, I don't think they do. Uh, I, I think Americans want to see somebody who's got the experience of running a really big entity, the 12th largest economy in the world. We're about the same size as Canada right. and or, or Australia. I mean, this is a big economy and unquestionably did a really good job of it, 1.5 million jobs between 07 and 2014. And the rest of the country lost 400,000 jobs. I think we're going to get past the, the celebrity side of this thing. We're going to go say, you know what, we're looking for somebody that can really get this country back working. We're, we want somebody sitting across the table with yep. Vladimir Putin who actually knows how to send the message. Go Governor, you, you also grew and matured and, and got smarter. You were a Democrat for a lot. You know where I learned this? <laughs> On Jeopardy. So the other was, night, did you hear so you on, was the, on Ronald the, Reagan and Bill right, Graham? You were on Jeopardy, and they said which which former uh, Texas governor was, was a Democrat, and, and I I didn't realize that. Yeah. How long were you a Democrat, and what were you thinking? I never met a Republican until I was like 27 years old. In I Texas, mean, I grew up in a rural part of Texas. I mean, my mom and dad were tenant farmers. I I grew up in a house that didn't have running water until I was seven or eight years old, and I mean, we didn't know any Republicans. It was after I had gone into the Air Force and flown for the four or five years as an Air Force pilot that I met people that were actually admitted being Republicans. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Dowdy from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.